dwellers, and welcome back to Minecraft Backlot, the show that recreates famous movie and television locations inside of Minecraft for funsies. I'm your host, Jeff, and welcome to our Halloween special part three build. Now, if you haven't seen the first two episodes, be sure to go watch those because I'm not going to spoil what we're building for another couple more seconds. If you have seen those, fantastic. Thank you very much. You already know what I'm going to do, what I'm working on, and what I'm probably going to run into in a moment here. But I'm just going to give those who haven't seen it a couple more seconds, and then... We shall continue. Now, okay, so if you do remember, we were building the Amityville Horror House. That's right, not the one from the modern any dozen... I hit a wall. <laughs> uh, any dozen uh, sequels or spinoffs or remakes, but the original, original, original. Now, as you can tell, I did a bunch of work off camera because, frankly, I want to keep these episodes to, if I can fly and not drown, I want to keep these episodes to, um, this is actually it, this is the last one. By the end of this episode, we will have a finished house. Will it be furnished? Nope, just finished. That's how I work. So, what did I do off camera? Well, as you can see, I built out the entire boathouse. Because <laughs> uh, I just realized that was kind of just, it didn't need to be done. There was also some terraforming that needed to be uh, worked on. Um, and I just, you know, I thought I could just do that myself, so I did. Uh, what I kind of did for this is I picked a color that kind of looked decent and close to it. Um, oh, that's wrong. Oops, hold on. <laughs> oh, I need my builder back. There you go. Oh, and I should have just, I should have done this off camera, and of course I didn't, like a dummy. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Replace stuff. You are... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, that's what I thought. Okay, hold on. Um, give me a moment. Okay, I have no idea why that took me so long, and I completely forgot what the tool, <laughs> what the command was for my spot out tool. Um, anyways, as I was saying, uh, what I kind of just did is I, um, besides missing these corner pieces, um, I I wanted to try. I found some material that looked decent, um, at least decently close to what it is in the movie. And then also just kind of did a slightly off color because if you look at some of these screenshots in here, I'll show you like the one that I'm, I was kind of basing this whole thing off of. If I can find where it went, there it goes. Um, you can kind of see this clearly like a water line. And this is just, you know, over the years of like the water being higher and then lower and then all that stuff. So I try to kind of emulate that by having it a slightly different uh, shade below the water. So yeah, there's that. Um, and then I just kind of, just a very basic structure, basing it again off of off of this photo, just, uh, you know, nothing too crazy. And then on the inside, that's not my, there we go. Oh, that's the other way. You know, just, so, oh, there's a door there. Oh, there's a dock there. I forgot those things. Jeez Louise, Jeff. Well, hold on. I guess we're going to be doing a little building on camera. <laughs> okay, there we go. I don't know why I completely missed that. I even remember looking at the screenshot going, oh yeah, I don't, I, I can't forget about this part. Okay, so that's what I did. Like I said, a very basic, basic structure. Nothing too crazy, nothing too complicated. I just kind of wanted to get that done off camera. Um, also kind of pushed back the shoreline here. I'm not going to be able to get the exact um, landscaping that I wanted to do on this, but uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see what I end up coming up with. Um, number th no, th 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 thing number two that I did was I built the basement. <laughs> you know, the thing that I completely forgot, uh, oops, <laughs> that I completely forgot about. Yep, I built it. I just did the whole thing. So here we go. Here's what I did based on the kind of rough uh, blueprints. Again, these that I'm going off of what the basement is and then also what you can see in the movie. Now, it's interesting because unless I'm forgetting something, they really only spend their time here uh, for most of it, because then he finds that, you know, he, he finds the red room back here underneath the stairs. So I'm not sure what these other rooms are, but, um, you know, so you come down here and like clearly the basement is a lot smaller than it should be in this house. But um, I did still build, you know, this other room. There's nothing in it. I'm not going to decorate the inside of this room. Um, but I, I did do, because um, you can kind of see that it is using kind of like stone bricks. So that is what I ended up using. I used the cracked stone bricks because I thought that just looked a little nicer than the standard ones. And then I also used the mossy stone bricks just to kind of, and I randomly just threw those all over the place just to kind of give it that feeling. Now I also did build the red room. Because, <laughs> you know, you have to, you have to have this. And I kind of did it in a way to make it look like he had, you know, broken into the room so you could see inside of it. Um, no, I don't want that one there. Uh, so, and you can see that I do have it and I just have a single light in here because without it, Oops, without it, it's just it's just a dark room and that kind of looks weird. But I liked the idea of this kind of 
odd glow coming from it because it is shiny it's 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 very well lit um and also in the movie you can kind of see what looks like the bottom side of the stairs now these are this one's real yeah i have just the 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 far this far right one that's the only real one but then i kind of i don't know it's it is kind of hard to see obviously i know that but i did kind of make it look like it was the full underside of the stairs but in reality this this is like in the next room <laughs> like if i break through that th these are in this next room already so um just a little sleight of hand but again i thought this kind of turned out nice it wasn't anything too crazy but i just wanted to make sure that i actually built the basement since you know it's pretty dang important to the movie um so i got the basement done now what are we gonna what are we gonna do in this episode well um well basically the my gosh i'm missing all random sorts of bits and pieces um it's going to be kind of a finishing episode. We are going to take care of the second floor and the third floor of the attic and then get the roof on it. And that's going to be, and then maybe do a little bit of uh, landscaping, um, but that's going to be it. And unfortunately, not all of it's going to be on camera. Uh, it is going to be maybe some time lapses or I'm just going to cut to it. Sorry, I don't know why I opened that. Um, but just because I want to keep this to this third episode and be done with this series, uh, just because I feel like anything more than three episodes, it gets a little boring. So let's start working on the second floor. Now, what we have is, again, we're going off of our fun little blueprints from this gent, which I have linked to his name in the description. Um, we're going to design this. Now, so clearly what it is, is it's, it's again, I, I know these are probably not 100% accurate to the movie, but we're going to just get close, and that's all that matters. Let me just slide that off frame. So we're going to start building the second floor. Now, the second floor is, um, oh, so that's where the stairs, oh, the stairs are over here. Oh, interesting. Okay, so um, the way that it looks like is that, what is it about? So it would be after the first floor. Do, 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 do. So I'm trying to calculate where this. So actually, it looks like the it looks like the doorway into the bedroom is here, which would mean then that that is that a full? Did I do a full block? Oh, I did do a full block. Oh, surprise! Um, we're gonna do that, and it's got kind of a kind of a <laughs> if there I guess kind of like a like a curved structure we're not going to obviously do that because it's we can't it's minecraft so but with that now we can fill in this section over here with the floor like that and then let's just here let's do this let's plan where all these walls are going to go so we know that there's going to be there's going to have to be a wall here and then there's going to have to be let's see we can actually knock this one back because we don't need Oh, no, 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 nope, we are going to need, where's my blue one? <laughs> I just realized I don't have my blue one. I have to keep the colors the same. Um, there we go. So what we're going to do, there's going to be a doorway here, and this is just going to be, yeah, this is just going to be a normal door. Oops. Like that. So then this is going to have to be this blue. Now we can get rid of the blue there. That's fine. For the inside, oh, and the inside that. Okay, and then this room. So that's going to be the wall there. We're going to have a divider here. That's the bathroom. And this is straight in line with the fireplace. So actually, okay, we're actually going to move this over one. It looks more like it should be there anyways. So let's get rid of that. And then we're going to bring this over here because we want this... In theory, this is gonna be the whole. Yep. So this is the this is the first room, and then they have like a closet door here, so we could probably put here like that, and then we'll put the door into the bathroom there. Move this over one, because then I can put a divider here, and then the other room is here. Again, don't mind that. We're not gonna use that. <laughs> um, and then we'll do the same door there because it's kind of a uh, shared like Jack and Jill bathroom. Um, you guys know what I mean by that? <laughs> I hope so. Uh, we'll do that. Yeah, so that's kind of the bathroom. It's a little small, but, mm, yeah, you know, what again, we're not going to really decorate these inside, so. And then here is the other bedroom, which we'll put the wall on for this, and then this one is down here. 
a ways. And then we'll finish that off like that. Okay, so then that is the right side of the house. And then let's do the, so that's the two kids' bedrooms. Now we'll do the master bedroom over here. Um, There will be, so the doorway. Yeah, so the doorway's going to be in the exact same spot. So I'm going to go all the way back over here. Should have just plopped the one down. There we go. Uh, doorway's in the same exact spot. And then this will be this. And this is their whole master suite, which goes up to the brick, which I just realized this, in, oops, this needs to be bricked off. Did I just, yeah, that sticks out. Let me just brick this off real quick. Like that. Okay. And now in a similar fashion, they have a wall coming across here. And then, oops, I got to turn myself around. <laughs> um... Actually, it's very, very similar. How many blocks? I just went in one block. So we're going to just kind of mirror it because it is their, like, master dressing bedroom room thing. Um, I do realize this does look a little different than what it shows in the movie because she's in front of, like, a glass mirror when he comes upstairs. But I'm okay. I'm just going to go off of this. Um, so they have supposedly their bathroom or their toilet is going to be in this room here. What do we got? So that goes, like, to here. And then it comes up, and then this is like the master bath, or like, yeah, I guess the master bath, because that's the changing room in here, I suppose. And that comes all the way to, I have a door here, which is closer to that. That's not annoying that that's not even. Um, <laughs> but then here, all the way over, there we go. And then, that is so dumb. Why did they do that? So it's, it's more like that. And then we're just going to leave that open. Leave that open, like that. It's like a walk-in thing. Uh, oh, and then this has to be, right? Oh yeah, this has to come down here because that's like the toilet. Block that off, obviously. So smaller room for the toilet and a sink. Big closet. This needs to be done like that. There we go. And then, and then there's a balcony. You know. Which I haven't built yet. <laughs> uh, but I digress. So, oh, why do I keep breaking everything? There. None of that's correct. <laughs> Alright. So there's our layout for the upstairs rooms. Now what we're going to do is we will we'll get the texture painted for these. Uh, we'll get the walls done. And uh, give me a second and let me take care of that. And there we go. Okay, so all the walls are up. Now, I kind of looked through the movie really quick just to see if I could get an idea of um, what kind of walls these are. And they're just as boring as all the rest of them. So I just kind of picked the same boring, grayish, but not white um, wall material. And went through the entire house and just built it all up the exact same way as we did down below. Um, now we just have to put the ceiling in like we did down below. But I also put in all the doors. So here's the, boy, the, the kids' uh, ensuite. suite. Uh, and then across the hall, I uh, did the hallway upstairs the exact same way we did the hallway downstairs. Um, needs to be a railing here. That's not OSHA compliant. Um, and then just went through and did the uh, the parents' side. Now, I know there's a weird coloring there, but that's Minecraft. I didn't do two different bricks, I promise. Um, but just kind of did all this space here and again. Still no balcony. So, <laughs> let me, uh, let's fix, let's fix this real quick. Uh, we need like some kind of railing there we go <laughs> wouldn't want anybody falling to their death in this house <laughs> am i right <laughs> yes i am okay so <laughs> yeah, screw that. we're not gonna do that brick um yeah we're not gonna do that i don't care i'm gonna leave that open so there we go so that is the second floor now as we did like i said before um, and I do realize I, I, we need to complete this space in here. We're going to use this exact same technique of just kind of using a half slab underneath the upstairs floor um, just to kind of fill in the roof. And then that way you don't see the wood. I just, it, it works. We've been doing this the same exact way forever, and it's always kind of looked nice. So we're going to do that same thing now. Um, if I can walk up the stairs, we're going to do that exact same thing up here. Uh, basically just doing, nope, not like that. Doing that. Is that right? I feel like that's one brick too high. Am I wrong? Am I wrong, wrong? 
Because it's on the block above the window. So it's one, two, three, and then it's on the fourth one. Yeah. What does that look? One, two, three. Well, oh, yeah. oh, I was right. On the halfway. Just for some reason against the door there. I guess against these windows, it looks better, doesn't it? If I can do a solid one. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So I'm going to do this all over the place. But first, before we go any further along, we do need to build a staircase over here. So this is where... How oh, the hell am I going to get those to go up that stair? That's going to be a very, very short walkway. Okay, so this is going to have to start here. Um... Game. <laughs> oh man. I might have to move these I'm gonna have to move these doors over one, aren't I? Cause that's the right height up, but I need at least at least something right here <laughs> to be able to turn into the upstairs bedroom. Oh man. Okay. Um Yeah, let me move those. Okay, there. So now it's just I guess you walk in the bedroom, it's <laughs> right along that wall. I don't ever like doing that, but then we're gonna have to in order for this to fit. So let me just get rid of you, and then we will build this set of stairs right here as it goes up. And then that is enough. No, it is not. Uh-oh. I guess on the upstairs we don't, I don't know, I wanna be able to give it a room, oh man. This is problematic. Okay, so what am I what, what am I complaining about? Um, basically, there is it's like the roof has to start right here. So maybe on this second floor we don't do a wall, um, like an inner wall. Ooh, that's gonna get ugly and tight. Because I need to go one more up. I need it to be there in order for this to work. Because with our half walls here, we then need a full brick there. Block, sorry. I mean, I guess we could technically do a half a brick or, or just like a slab for upstairs. Because again, I'm not really putting much furniture up here, if any. And it just needs to be kind of to be able to look out the window. But yeah, we need to, we need to do a whole brick or whole block here. Or, you know, just throw it away. Oh, stop throwing it away. <laughs> there we go. I was on the wrong key. Um, yeah, I guess we could just... We could just cover, like, fill this whole thing in. Go right up to the edge. And then have a very tight turnaround before the, the roof line starts. I think we're going to have to do that. Okay. I think I have something. Um, <laughs> so I did some work. Uh, so what we did is I grabbed the same material we used on the roof of the little sun porch over there, that Andestine, or Anison, or however you want to pronounce it. Um, and I used that just as up down, upside down stair technique. Very, very simple and basic. I'm, I know this side doesn't look good. I'm going to figure out how to do a, a nice, nice little oar hang. But I think this will work. Um, what we're going to do is um, where I left off last time. So we have the stairs coming up. Do, 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 do. And then instead of doing an inner wall like we normally would, because it's obviously going to be directly under the roof line, um, we're just going to do this darker wood material. It is, what is this? What, what, what is this? Dark oak stairs. Of course it is. Um, I, I was like, that's going to line the attic. But by doing that, it gives us just just enough space that as we come up the stairs, you can still turn and move around the upstairs. So that's what we're going to go with. Um, I just did the entire roof just on this one side to make sure that it will line up correctly. So you won't see any of this on the underside. You'll just see wood kind of pretending that maybe it's like the rafters of the attic are, are still exposed. Because um, I know I don't have a screenshot of it, but I do remember the upstairs kind of looking a little rough for the kids' room. Um, plus, you know, it's an attic. That's cool. So I am going to do this. I just filled in a little bit here just to make sure it was going to look good. I'm going to fill the rest of this in with wood, get the roof line on, and then we'll come back and we'll just figure out the couple walls for up here. Sound good? Sound good. Quick update. This is what it's going to look like. Um, fully filled out on one side. So just wanted you to kind of see what we're going for. Now let me do it on this side. Be right back. And there we go. Okay, so that is the entire upstairs is attic-fied. You know, that's what you say. 
Uh, so with that in mind, let me just take you back outside. Now I have to go all the way out because I have a roof to fly through like I used to. Uh, let me get outside. Uh, there we go. So this is what it looks like from out here. So what I ended up doing on the sides, I just brought everything over one. Um, I know it's kind of a boring technique, but at least it, I, just, I hate it when it's completely flat against that. Now technically, and now that I'm seeing it like this, I guess we could do that. Um, if you look, this is the sample I'm using, they actually do have like a white underhang that wraps around uh, part of the eaves. So really, I probably could just do this. Let's, if I can find my thing. Um, yeah, you know what, I like that actually. Because then it just, it kind of helps break, oh yeah, that looks so much nicer. Um, okay, so let's just, I won't, uh, I don't want that. Actually, yeah, I do. Let's look at the sample again. So it's got these like little decorative pieces down below here. Um, and while I know we've been using like the smooth cords for everything, I kind of like those little indents because it kind of, kind of emulates that, that kind of look. Um, oh, I just realized we didn't build a front porch. We've got to build a front porch. Um, so I'm going to use this all the way just on this, this underside just to kind of help break up the, the, the boringness that is the gray. I also do realize we have a couple of dormers we need to install. I just remembered that as well. So we are going to take care of that next. Let me uh, let me do this exact same thing on the other side here. Um, again, nothing too crazy, just, oops, just very basic um, roof. We already kind of figured out what the general shape of the roof was gonna look like in a previous episode. So I just went off of that for the whole thing. But, just build these last two in manually. There we go. Cool, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, Alright, so now we do have a couple dormers we need to put in. Let me come way back here. Let's take a look again at my reference photo. Whee! Um, so these guys up here. So there's three of them. And I know we're going to get back inside, but let's just get this done first while I'm thinking about it. So this one's right smack dab in the middle. It's kind of off-centered, but I'm I'm guessing this one is meant to be like between these two windows, you know, kind of like evenly between the two windows. So that's what we're going to do. So this first one is going to go like here. Now, is that remotely useful? I guess, okay, we're actually going to go down one. We're going to, we're going to lower where the dormer window is, I guess, just because that would make more sense for use, you know, usefulness inside this uh, attic space. So let's do that. Now, how are we going to build that? It looks like that is just straight up probably this stuff. And I'm assuming it's probably siding like... Oops, did not need to knock that, all of those out. Like that. If we just replace those. And they are straight, they are straight coming out. So it would have to be like that. And then we do glass, glass, and then just cap it. Cap it like that. Let's fix this so it looks nicer. Right? And then in here, we just do a glass. We use the same. I want to use this one up here. We do like that. And then it's just got a tiny little roof on it, which I would assume would probably be this material. So if we do, 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 do. Oh, okay, I got it. I got, I got it. Okay, I just realized what we're going to do. <laughs> I'm glad somebody knows what's going on, Jeff. Um, we're just going to tie it into that. So we'll bring you over, bring you. Like, no, like that. Um, and then we'll actually just get rid of all of that for now. I'll fix that up in a second. And then let's use the cap. This will cap it off. So really we could, no, I don't want to do that. Um, and we're just going to use, not that, we're going to use this for that. Right, hold on. What I want to do is I kind of wanted to, hmm, I guess we could bring it out one more. What if we bring it out one more? Is that going to make it look, kind of makes it look a little gaudy, doesn't it? What I wanted to do is I wanted to kind of emulate that exact same dial we had going on the other side using those but then I do realize like we're now we're gonna get this like weird gap and I don't want that 
So, you know, we're, just, we're not going to do that. It's just going to be a boring old, ugh, very basic looking <laughs> structure. Um, now, do we have it come off one or is this too much? This might be too much. Because if then we have that there, or do we replace it with it? Definitely that. Hmm. I'm going to have to think about that, but I think in the meantime, I will just copy this over. We'll use it elsewhere. Exact same way. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. So then, um, and I realized that, like, that actually probably should be... Oh, you know, I'm going to... No, that probably should be, like, this stuff, shouldn't it? It's going to look weird on the inside. I'll figure that out in a second. Um, actually, quick, let's, before I copy that and do all the fun stuff, let's go inside, see what it looks like on the inside. Whee! It looks like garbage, is what Jeff says. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> All right, let's, let's fix this up. We're gonna um, just cover that up. We're gonna pretend none of that exists. So actually, let's just bring that all the way down. That's right, that's this. Go up like that, and then up like that. So that just covers that up. There we go. Okay, that looks a lot better. Um, we're going to use an upside down stair. That's what I want it to be. That's much better. It's not perfect, but it's it's definitely better. And I'm wondering... No, I don't want to do that. Okay. So with that in mind, now let's go back outside. <laughs> okay, so now let's copy this. Just right here. Yeah. So we're going to do from that side to... Here, we're gonna copy you. Okay, and I want, I want it to be in the middle, so we have to go here. Hope this works. Paste. That worked perfectly. Okay, let's go do it on the other side. Ooh boy, I was kind of worried there for a second. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's not perfect, but. I don't mind it. And I maybe maybe later on I'll come back and tweak them a little bit, but I think that looks good for the most part. Um, all right, so I'm happy with that. Now, I actually don't know, and I don't have any photos really of the other side of the house. I'm assuming those dormers would be on both sides of the house? Question mark? Um, blueprints obviously don't really show that, and none of my... Photos. Sorry, you're not seeing anything I'm looking at. None of the photos get a good look at that side of the house. Obviously, you can see the dormer right there sticking out. But um, they don't really show up on the other side. I am assuming the house would be... You'd have it on both sides. So, you know what we're going to do? Um, holy crap, I figured out how to rotate it. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to work. Um, all right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to put them right in the exact same spot that makes the most sense... Um, that's probably how they would have built it. So it is, gosh, I already lost it. That's this set right here. That is the one we want to copy or paste it onto. So I'm gonna paste, stop, 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 stop moving. Paste, I think so, right? Yep, there we go. Good, right in the middle of that triple window. That's exactly what we wanted it to be. And then you, I realized I could have just gone over there and counted how many spaces were between each one, but, you know, I have to do things the hard way. There we go. Awesome. There's the dormers on both sides of it. Again, I'm not entirely sure if they do have it, but I'm assuming they have it. That would make the most sense. Um, okay, so real quick, let's go back inside. Oh, don't look at my cheat sheet. I was totally not Googling how to rotate in the world edit. Um, the third floor, we are going to kind of just quickly put something. And yeah, we're just going to put a wall in there. Um, the only problem that's the thing that sucks about building a three-story home. <laughs> 
And the house is so dark in here. And I was like, oh, that's that's weird. I shouldn't have it be so dark. I don't know. I probably should leave it dark. It's, it is kind of a haunted house. Um, all right. So now in here, we're going to use those same... That same... Oh, let me just go back downstairs. I'm just going to use the same kind of color, this one, um, that we used elsewhere. So according to my rough blueprints here... Um, Oh yeah, see, I guess actually in his drawing, he doesn't show there being dormers on the back side. They are just on the front side, but I'm going to leave them. I figured out how to rotate those things. I'm leaving them, man. Um, we're going to pretend that the wall is here and he has it at this point jutting back over. And like so, and then... Oh, I see, because he says there's a bathroom, like, right up here. That goes to the edge of the stairs, like so. So, that's what he said. Uh, we're not playing that game, but, you know. <laughs> so there we go. So we're just going to pretend, and then, sorry, real quick. He's got a door pretty much right there. Okay. So let me copy and paste this all the way up. Actually, we're going to come this out one more. Sorry. Um, let me, uh, let's, let's put these walls up <laughs> and I'll be right back. Something like that. Okay. So we got that wall up. Um, big open concept. <laughs> Definitely a big open concept. <laughs> oh, Minecraft and your scale. So weird. Um, or it's just the scale that I'm playing in. Um, I want to get just some lights in here. And actually, I really like... Uh, oops, not that. Um, what is it? Light. I really like the glow of this. Shroom light. That's what it is. Um, this is what I use downstairs in the red room. I just kind of, kind of dig it. Um, it just kind of gives the house a nice soft glow, you know, without being too much. Um, I do realize what I kind of want to do is I kind of want to do this, uh, just for, uh, thematic effect. Um, let's go downstairs to see what that looks like. <laughs> yeah. I like that. <laughs> I hate the fact that it makes the entire, like, side of the house light up. I mean, I, I don't have any, like, fancy shaders, uh, on for my, my copy of Minecraft, but I do like that. I did realize one other thing, the, the, this needs to be, like... Two up. Yeah, it needs to be a little taller. I need to do that on both sides. I did not make the chimney tall enough, basically. Um, but it was close. Do the same thing. There we go. Um, I also put those lights on both sides. And I know I showed you on camera, I put them on this window. Because in real life, it was this side. But again, in the movie, it's actually this side that they tend to show more often. Uh, again, the house is mirrored from what it actually was in real life. I don't care. I put the lights in both <laughs> sides. So <laughs> there's there's that house. Okay, so I did that again. Um, let's do a, let's let's fix the time here so everybody can see. Much better. Uh, all right. So what is left of the build? Well, I do realize that we have to build the front porch. I forgot that. And as I was coming down, I realized I forgot to fill in. The ceiling so besides doing this whole thing again which you know you've seen me do this already or i've talked about doing it off camera um like what i'm doing right now besides oops nearly fell down the stairs besides this the house itself oh balcony i almost forgot their little balcony thing off the master suite let's go do that real quick as i finish building this in <laughs> filling this in okay so their balcony don't really like I don't remember if you actually see it in the movie. I don't remember seeing it in the movie. But uh, what we're going to just do is we're going to do a really simple, straightforward... Uh, let's pretend that their balcony door opens out. Da, da, da. And we're just going to use pretty much the same thing I used for this. Um, just going to use the jungle slab, yeah. Um, to kind of fill in the space and we're going to just make it be the same size actually no we're going to knock that back one uh, we're just going to make it three blocks nope deep and we're not going to go all the way to the house right 
Why wouldn't I? Hmm. You know what? Let's just let's just do this. I used to build these things like this all the time. We're just gonna we're gonna make it look like it's been built, supported on I don't know something like that. Yeah, just to fill in that kind of gap. I'm okay with that. And then fence. Do I have a jungle fence? I do have jungle fence. Why didn't I just t put the jungle fence in my? Thank you. Um. Perfect, and that can still stand on that. Excellent. That's why I did that. It's like I knew what I was doing. Sometimes. Okay, so there's their little balcony looking out at trees. Okay, let's go finish um, building. You know, I wondered why it was so dark in here. <laughs> there we go. Let's go finish building the uh, the front porch. Okay, so now this should be pretty straightforward. Um, what do we have for walls? Oh, that's right. Oh, we only have the diorite walls, and I hate these. They're not white enough for me. Um, I really wanted to be something like that. I wanted to use these because they're, they're basically... Here, if we use our reference photo again, outside of the house, here's our front porch. Nothing simple. Two posts. Um, yeah, they do have windows down the side. Oh, I could probably do that just to kind of help make it look wider. And then just a very basic roof line. Nothing crazy, uh, nothing fan. Oh, that's why I didn't put the windows down the side. Yeah, because you know we've door here and all that stuff, and I think that would look weird. Don't judge me. I'm curious. Oh, that looks weird. Yeah, never mind. Okay, so we're gonna use these because it's what we have um we're gonna go up to there now maybe we don't necessarily need this block here we could probably get away with no <laughs> no <laughs> doing this i think we might just fill that in give me you fill that you do that there okay we're just gonna do that now that we're gonna do the the, the front porch it makes more sense just to do kind of something simple above the door um, and then we're going to do the exact same thing as what we did up here. Give me you, give me you, and just in case, give me you, maybe, potentially. Um, let's look back at this. So it's most, it's all white on the underside. That's nice. Um, so what we're going to do then is we will just do this. And as long as it stops above the window there, which it should... No. If I click, thank you. We do that. Oh yes. Oh yes. 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 This would be perfect. This would be perfect. We we'll do that and that. Put a basic one there, and then we just do a slab across, and it act across, and it ends exactly where I kind of want it. And then on the underside, we will just fill the whole thing in with these. And I realized what that just did, and that looks horrendous. Um. So what we're going to do then is. Give me the slab, port slab. We'll put one there. No, we'll put one there. <laughs> mm. I don't like that you can see. It. I don't know. I don't like that at all, actually. Oh, you know, you know, you you know what we're. That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> um. Yeah, I would love to fill that in like that but that's clearly not going to happen but we could at least do one over there just to try to kind of cover some of that up okay and then do I do dare I do this this kind of looks dumb doesn't it you're all screaming at your camera your, your computer right now going yeah Jeff it does but that's what we expect I mean, it's not totally dumb. <laughs> Can we do that? Oh, I forgot to fill the underside of this in. It's giving gaudy. <laughs> That's what it's giving. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know if I like that at all. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to leave it for now and 
that's the thing I can come back to and change if I change my mind later, like everything else in this house. Okay, so that is the core of the house built. What do we have left to do? Well, we just have like a little bit of exterior um, landscaping, basically just put in some trees and bushes. I'm going to do all of that off camera right now and, and, and I'll be I'll be back when you know I have that all done. Ta -da! And that everybody is the final part of the house. Everything uh, kind of is done and ready to be viewed. <laughs> um, I basically just went through my trees are dying and I hate that it keeps doing that. I think I might be putting them too close together. Anyways, all I kind of did was just run around the house real quick, did some very, very basic landscaping. Um, because I haven't quite decided how much I want to do for this, but I did just kind of wanted to surround it by some trees because I know this is in a neighborhood. There is neighboring homes, but, you know, we just can't, and I don't have any more homes on this part of it. I wanted to leave some gap between the Amityville house and the McAllisters. I felt like those two should not be next to each other. Uh, so I did some just very, very basic, basic landscaping around the house. And with that, everybody... We're done. Um, <laughs> that's the Amityville Horror House. That is also the end of this year's Halloween special here on Minecraft Backlot. If you enjoyed this, please leave a comment and a like. Let me know if you want to see more of these in the future. Let me know what you have any ideas for Christmas. It'd be kind of fun to do another Christmas house or building or structure of some kind. Um, would love to get some just more homes or other buildings, preferably other buildings, but I can definitely do homes um, on this channel. So with that, I wish you a very, very very merry happy halloween from the amityville horror and for god's sakes don't buy a house that's too good to be true i mean 80 grand for five bedrooms eh, even today's market i don't i don't think i would do that mm -mm. <laughs>